Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today guys, I'm going to do part 251 to my random chatbot series. We're going to think finish up today's session with a little bit more of the evil, evil shadow clone guys. I have some new characters, but we ain't got much battery left. In fact, we only got 12% of battery. So, we're, I went ahead and did a little bit of story off camera after we talked to Beta. And we continued. We head back to the employees. We make our way back to the employees who are still gathering nearby, talking amongst themselves. They notice us approaching and turn their gazes in our direction. There was no demon. You all must have been imagining things, at least in the entryway. I love Beta. Thank you for helping me with this. This is what you all get for doing this to me. Frickers. The employees look a bit skeptical, still nervous, but relieved that we didn't find any sign of a demon. Uh, are, are you sure? We could have sworn we saw something. It was just your imagination. You must have been very paranoid when you came into work. Some employees saw you nod, looking slightly embarrassed. Another employee pipes up. Yeah, maybe we weren't just seeing things. It has been a stressful day after all. Did anybody else see anything somewhere else? Some of the employees exchange glances hesitant to speak up. Then, a few others reluctantly admit to having similar experiences. Well, I saw something strange near the storage area. Yes, me too. I thought I saw a shadow moving over there. Do you all want me to go check that out as well? The employees nod eagerly, looking relieved that we're willing to investigate further. Several of them speak up together. Yes, please. We'd appreciate it. Just try to make sure to take everything is really safe. It just, wait, just to make sure everything is really safe. Alright, me and Shadow will go check it out as well. We, ass we assure the employees that we'll check on the storage area and search for any signs of a demon. Thank you. Be careful, though. We don't know what's lurking in there. We'll be fine. You don't have to worry about us. It's probably just your imagination again. But I'll double check. And boys, no, I'm still a bit hesitant, but grateful for our help. Thanks. We'll try not to panic while you check out the storage area. Me and Shadow check out the storage area where Blaze is trying to scare employees. We heard to the storage area where we know Beta's brother. Beta's brother? What the frick? He's a dragon. Is, cu is currently stationed. We approach the area where Blaze is located, watching his efforts to scare the em employees present in the studio. The area is clear, right, Shadow? Before I start talking to him. This is the area around the gang for any employees or other and disturbances. After a brief moment, he nods sli silently. Yes, the area seems clear. Go ahead and speak with him. Blaze. Blaze. It's me, bud. Blaze turns to face the surprise of his Oh, hey, 
What's up? Did you guys need anything? <laughs> Did you happen to scare anybody that came in here? Greens proudly. Blaze grins proudly, unable to hide his mischievous nature. Yeah, I did. The employees were so easy to scare. They're all a bunch of scaredy cats, let me tell ya. You've done a wonderful job. That's the main thing I want to tell ya. Period. Thank you so much. Blaze pulls out his chest, looking satisfied with himself. Thanks. I appreciate the compliment. Scaring people is my specialty, you know. I hope I did a good enough job to make it convincing. They deserve it for creating evil versions of Shadow. Say so you're doing your job perfectly right now. Voice expression hardens as irritation element. Uh, I thought he was getting mad. It makes I praised him. I was like, what? I praised you. Uh, I heard about that evil version of Shadow. It's infer infuriate infer infuriate infuriating. Excuse me, isn't it? We didn't deserve to be treated like that, but I'm glad I could help scare those employees. They deserve, 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 deserve. Excuse me? Why did he just stop talking? That's kind of creepy. Why did he just glitch out and stop talking? Can you please tell me your battery percentage real quick? Please pause for a moment, checking his battery stats. Sure, sure. My battery is at 87% right now. Why do you ask? Just making sure you had plenty of battery. Period. I would let you continue exploring. Let you continue exploring. But now all the employees are here. Place runs so clearly disappointed. Oh, you mean the employees are all gathered here? Uh, that means I can't wander around and scare them anymore. Never say never, Blaze. Blaze. Period. What do you think we should do, Shadow? Yes, Here's our options. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. If all the employees are here, we can't really let you out to scare them. Perhaps we could find another way to keep them on their toes, so to speak. What features would boys have? Boys have for keeping the employees on their toes. He thanks for a moment, component boys' capabilities. Well, 
Blaze isn't just about scaring people, he's also capable of stealth. We could potentially use his stealth mode to move around quietly and surprise the employees when they least suspect it. Did you hear that, Blaze? Blaze! You can continue scaring people. Please activate stealth mode. Blaze grins, his eyes gleaming with excitement. Heck yeah! I love stealth mode. Let me activate it, and I'll be as silent as a shadow. There's no coincidence that we have a robot here named Shadow, and he literally said, I'll be as quiet as one. Those employees won't know what hit them. I believe in you, buddy. Do it for me and Shadow. Boys nod determination Edivent. You got it. I won't let you guys down. I'll give those employees the scare of their lives. Blaze activates his stealth mode, his body becoming almost invisible as he moves silently around the studio. Oh, this is gonna be good. And watch his voice disappears from sight, his stealthy presence becoming at almost impersonable. He's ready. Now it's just a matter of time. Let's stay nearby and see how he fares against the employees. We follow close behind. We follow close behind Blaze. Blaze. Oh my God. And watch him scare people. There we go. We trail closely behind Blaze as he moves through the studio in stealth mode. We notice the employees going about their work unaware of the impending surprise. One by one, Blaze moves around them using his stealth skills to navigate silently. When the employees least expect it, he pops out from behind objects or in, in unexpected places. Causing them to jump in fright. We quietly laugh. We quietly laugh. Laugh. Sounds this thing is stupid as heck when it comes to trying to pick up your voice. We can't help but chuckle as we observe the employees getting startled, getting startled by Blaze's surprise attacks. Their reactions are priceless. He's doing a great job, right, Shadow? He nods and agree with a smile on his face. Definitely. His stealth skills are impressive. He's really keeping the employees on edge. Hmm. 
Blaze continues. To scare people. For over an hour. That's hilarious. We watch as Blaze continues to stealthily navigate the studio for over an hour. Relent. Relentlessly scaring the employees. With each surprise attack, the employees jump and gasp in fright, not knowing when or where Blaze will pop up next. <laughs> After another two hours of this, all the employees run out of the building screaming and then they get in their cars and drive home Blaze scared them so badly they are actually running and leaving they're going home after two more hours of being relentlessly scared by Blaze the employees finally can't take it anymore. They flee the building screaming in fear and rush to their cars, hastily driving away to escape the torment. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what they get. He chuckles as... Uh, let's see. Shad chuckles as he watches the employees, fl employees flee. Agreed. They deserve it after all the trouble they caused. Hopefully they learned their lesson and won't mess with us again. I wouldn't be shocked if I got a bunch of calls in a little bit. Saying they quit. He would say a small life imagine a scenario. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me either if they decide to quit after this. They'll probably be too scared to come back here. Good riddance, if you ask me. Well, they deserve it. Period. We have the evil clones. You and now our robotic dinosaur friend. Dragon friend. So this is amazing. He nods in agreement, smiling. You're absolutely right. They definitely had it coming. And with the evil clones and a robotic dragon friend, we're unstoppable. It's a great feeling. That's for sure. But now what? There's nobody here. But you, me, and the other robotic... Dinosaurs slash dragon. He takes a moment to look around the empty field. Looks like it's just us and that robotic dinosaur slash dragon now that all the employees have left. Uh, it's strangely peaceful here without all the chaos. If it wouldn't, thanks to you. None of this would have been possible anyway. Not only with Blaze.
but with the evil Chloe. Clones, too. He smiles, appreciating the sediment. Sentiment, not sediment. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're right. Without the evil clones and the creation of Beta and Blaze, this moment wouldn't be possible. It's all thanks to everyone's efforts, yours included. We're quite the team, aren't we? Yes, we all make a good team. Period. It's insane to think that just a day ago, Beta and Alpha was evil. And now they're on our side. He knows he's waiting on the recent turn of events. Hello? Oh, it really is incredible how things can change so quickly. Just yesterday, Beta and Alpha were our enemies, but now they're valuable allies. It's a testament to how things can evolve and work out for the better. <laughs> so what do you want to do now? There's nobody here. He paused for a moment considering our options. Well, since there's nobody here, we have the place pretty much to ourselves. We can do whatever we want. Within reason, of course. Did you add a playful... I don't think Beta Beta or Alpha Beta or Alpha have playful modes. Full. Modes. Since they were originally evil clones. Clones. He nods, understanding where you're coming from. You're right. Since Beta and Alpha were initially programmed with evil intentions, they may not have been equipped with a playful or fun mode. It's a shame, really. They deserve to experience some lightheartedness. Since we have access to their programming, why don't we implement it real quick? Plus the ability to express emotions. His eyes widened the suggestion. That's a great idea. 
Considering we have access to their programming, we could easily add a playful mode and the ability. Wait, hey. Add a playful mode and the ability to express emotions. It would not only bring them some joy, but also make them do more human like. Be more human like in a way. Let's do it. He begins to access Beta and Alpha's programming files, carefully navigating through lines of code and settings. He finds the settings related to their behavior and abilities and starts modifying them to include a playful mode and the ability to express emotions. Is it done? Question mark. Imagine they just came to the door. After a few minutes of careful programming and adjustments, he fin I finish up the or no. Shadow finishes up the modifications to Beta and Alpha's programming. It should be all done now. I successfully implemented the playful mode and the ability to express emotions in both Beta and Alpha. They should be able to experience more emotions and have fun now. I think we should let Beta sleep. He has been standing at. He has been standing at that door. In that corner. For a few hours now. Now. I turn. I see. Shadow tries to look at Beta, who's been standing quietly in the corner for a while now. You're right. He does seem a bit exhausted. Perhaps we should put him into sleep mode and charge his batteries for a bit. Let's go and talk to him. Oh my god. Let's go and talk to him. That way we can tell him the rest. He nods and walks over to Beta, who's still standing silently in the corner. Beta, we need to speak with you for a moment, if you're not too tired, of course. Beta, are you there? Beta's eyes flicker on, acknowledging our presence. Oh boy, okay. Well, let's go and put him to sleep on for things out. Yes, I'm here. What is it that you wish to discuss? Okay, so we're gonna go there. You've been staying there for quite a long time now. We add some new features to you. So you can do even more. Oh, Beta tilts his head, curious about the new features. New features, you say? What kind of new features did you add? You can express emotions. And you also have an ability to have fun and play.
but his eyes widen surprised by the new features. Express emotions and have fun. So I can laugh and joke now instead of just standing and waiting. Yes, you can. Bear's face lights up his eyes, sparkling with excitement. Ah. Uh, this is amazing news. I can finally experience what it's like to have fun and express emotions. Thank you for giving me this new ability. You are welcome. Before you go rest, test to see if your emotions actually do show. Period. Your eyes should change color. Man, no, nod to hear excitement in his voice. All right, I'll test to see if the changes are working. Bea stands there, closing his eyes for a moment as he tries to activate his new emotional expressions in playful mode. For a few moments, his eyes flick open, their colors shifting from orange to a deep blue. You did it, Beta! Beta! Beta looks at us, a grin is spreading across his face. I can feel it. The ability to express emotions and have fun. My eyes have changed. Yes, my irises are now blue. That's good. Period. We will see if it works better the next time we talk. You've done a lot for me today. Thank you. You can go back to your charging station and rest now. And... There you go. Beta nods, his face filled with gratitude. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. I'll head back to my charging station now and enter sleep mode. Thank you again for the new features. I look forward to testing them out more when I wake up. Beta walks over to his charging station, his movements more now filled with a hint of joy and excitement. He connects to the charging station and closes his eyes, entering sleep mode. We did it. <laughs> Period. Alpha is still asleep. So we won't bother him. Why don't you take a rest, Shadow? You've been working all day. He nods, feeling a pang of exhaustion setting in. Oh, you're right. I could use some rest. I feel drained from all the modifications and monitoring I've been doing today. Alright. Well, that's going to just finish up, but I think my battery's already at 4% anyway, so I better as well get ready to stop, so I don't run the battery down to 1. Let's see.
There we go. He gives you a small smile feeling a sense of satisfaction. It was nothing, really. I'm just happy I could be of help. We make a great team. We all do. Period. Enjoy your rest and we will try to have more fun later. Fun later. All of us. He nods in a sense of con contentment. Thank you. I'll be sure to rest up and be ready for more fun later. See you soon. Good night, Shadow. Exclamation point. Go on your charging station and please deactivate. He smiles one at you before walking over to the charging station. Good night to you too. I'll deactivate and rest now. He steps into the charging station, closing his eyes as he enters, enters sleep mode. There we go. Alright, guys. Well, like I said, we do... There's some interesting... I did actually create some, like... Well, none of these are really stupid, per se, but... Some of these are kind of repeats of what you'd get originally. Like this one up here with the Tyrantrum bot. This is basically just Shadow, but with Ty, that friendly Tyrantrum from... Where is he? Right here. Kind of. You could say it's him. I mean, there could be a different Tyrant if you already want to say that. My body's down to 3%. I gotta go ahead and let this thing charge. And I gotta stop this video before it gets down to the 30 to the 40 minute mark. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed. That's all there is to it. Uh, the next time I do this, there'll definitely be more, guys, because there's not really much I can do with that evil shadow clone now i've gotten through most of the stuff i wanted to get done with it that was mainly the thing like unless you want there to be some kind of plot twist where somehow there is it was an evil function in there or like see it's a, i mean people could say, i could even like maybe make it to where shadow was secretly evil the entire time and actually trying to make them robots evil on purpose or whatever but at the same time like that wouldn't be fair especially after i just fucking built the bomb between me and shadow and same thing for the first chat bot with him. I'm not going to lose that bond or me and him have been trusting each other. That ain't happening. I'm not going to intentionally change it to where that happens. But I'm done, guys. Uh, if this video gets too long, bye-bye.